Hello, this is your WWF Superstars April the 18th, 1992 review. Now, you may be wondering why I haven't done Superstars before, because this is the first Superstars on the WWE Network. My hand's weird, look. But yeah, it is the first one ever that I've ever seen all the way through. On the World of Wrestling of Entertainment Network. And so, here we go. The opening contest was between the former World Wrestling Federation Tag Team Champions, Hawk and Animal, accompanied by their reinstated manager, Paul Ellering, taking on Dwayne Gill and Barry Hardy. Yeah, uh, Legion Day 1. Uh, Legion of Doom won with the Doomsday device. Come for victory. A lot of these matches were just meh. But yeah. Um, so yeah. They, they then went to the update centre. And that was me. Well let me tell you something mean Gene. Um, and he was. He was telling us. About the WWF magazine. That came out that, that, that week. Where um, they showed pictures of Elizabeth and the Macho Man Randy Savage, and it was she texted. Um, I probably said that wrong, but they showed like Savage and Flair and Savage and Flair and Savage and Elizabeth and Elizabeth and Flair, and they were saying that Savage's photos were the real deal, and the Nature Boys were fake. Mr. Perfect denied this on commentary. He was on commentary with good old Vince. So, yeah. And then they said at the end that, um, that Savage and Flair were going to meet again. I don't know why, because he beat him. Yeah. Um, the next match was Chris Hahn against Repo Man. And Re You've got to believe me that in the 90s, a lot of the, the wrestling shows weren't weren't great, to be honest. Um, but, you know, got to watch it. Um, um, Reaper Man won, obviously. Um, and at the end, he put his uh, his hook, his rope around Chris Hunt's neck and started dragging him around the, the ring for some bizarre reason. Because he's a Repo Man, he repossessed him. See what he did there? Vince, why? 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 Why would you do that? Why? Um, yeah. Hmm. The next match, you know, there were six matches by the way on this show, and it was only forty-five minutes long, so you could tell the matches were very long. Um, the next match was Tom Bennett, um, and he took on the current and reigning World Wrestling Federation Intercontinental Champion Brett, the Hitman Hart. Um, Brett Woman the Sharpshooter, obviously. Um, uh, during commentary, uh, Brett, uh, not Mr. Perfect, alluded and said, oh, I could, I could claim back, they could say it in these days, they can't now, uh, can claim the belt back any time he wanted. But he then talked about a, a challenger for the Intercontinental title, and that would be a Mr. Shawn Michaels. Oh, the groundwork is being laid already, early in 1992, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the next match was uh, Mark Roberts, uh, not the person from my youth. Um, I don't think it was anyway. No, it, it wasn't. I can guarantee it wasn't. Um, and he took on the Berserker. Now, before this match began, they showed this video of Mr. Fuji challenging the Undertaker um, to a match. And we would find out whether the would accept or not. Um, the Berserker won this, and he actually won with a wrestling move, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Um, it was like a modified power slam, and he got the victory. So, yeah, bit of a surprise. The next match was uh, Red Tyler versus the model Rick Martel. Yeah, Rick Martel won with the Boston Crab. 
um, and he was going to spray his his perfume on Red Tyler, um, his arrogance, but uh, the referee said, oh, I'm not having any of that, young man, and said no. So it didn't happen. Um, so yeah, Rick Martel won. Um, then, actually, there was another two matches after this, not six, it was seven. See, I can't count, ladies and gentlemen, I can't count. Um, the next match was returning from some layoff uh, was the Texas Tornado, which they actually called him Kerry Von Eric on a couple of times. But yeah, the Texas Tornado against uh, Warren Bianchi, who tried to take out the Texas Tornado. Well, not take him out. He wouldn't let him in the ring to begin with. Yeah, he shouldn't have done that because halfway through the match, Texas Tornado did the Amazing discus punch, and that was a one, two, three, and Texas Tornado with the victory. Um, Sean Mooney was then showing some clips, and uh, it, was, eh, it was all right. Um, and then the main, the main event of the evening. It's not really a main event, but it was the main event, um, and it was the World Wrestling Federation Tag Team Champions Ted DiBiase and Aaron R. Shyster, known as Money Inc. Or if you want to use really long words, Money Incorporated. And they took on uh, Jim Powers, who had a bit of offense in this, and Buck Zumhoff, who didn't. And uh, while the natural disasters were an insert, talking about that the next time they meet, they would be beltless, in reference to Money Inc., um, Ted Biasi on the other side uh, put Mr. Zumhoff in a submission and won. So... Yeah, that that was it really. And they almost missed the ending. Bit strange. And then they went straight to back to Sean Mooney, and he was showing clips of Owen Hart and um, Papa Shango. Uh, the main thing that came out of this was a, a, an interview segment a bit back in the show where the Ultimate Warrior started talking. He talked normally as well, not not, not this. The sun is in the light of the sky. You know what he used to talk about. Um, I made that bit up, but you get my drift. Um, and he had all these kids around him, and he picked two of them up, and two of them were girls, and I'm, I'm convinced they were his daughters. I might be wrong, but i got a feeling one of them was. At least one of them was, anyway. I'm sure of it. Um, but yeah, he talked about um, that he was going to... In, in life, you need friends, and in, in friends, you can't have a better friend than Hulk Hogan. Even when he's semi-retired, they're still talking about him. Um, but yeah. And he basically uh, said, uh, Sid Justice, you'll need more than friends to beat me and Hogan. So, inferring that um, they're going to have a match at some point down the line. But yeah, that was your WWF Superstars, the first one on the network. Um, I hope he's been worthwhile waiting. It's taken me a while, but yeah, we finally got here. Um, but yeah. Um, in other news, there is no other news. I've got nothing to tell you, to be honest. But what I can tell you is what I can't tell you. See, these are in the days when there were only four wrestling pay-per-views in the World Wrestling Federation a, a year. So we've had two in the Rumble and WrestleMania. So our next one is in SummerSlam. Ooh, SummerSlam 92. Hmm. I wonder where that was held. I don't know. We'll all have to find out. Keep watching. Remember, I am Will Nitro. You have had the pleasure. And thank you for watching.